All right, and the time now is the demo time. And in this demo, I'm going to show you how Vagrant works. And to understand how Vagrant works, I'm going to show you how to use it to create one VM and also configure it. So the Vagrant code that I would be using does this. So it creates a VM with certain specification. And that specification includes, let's say, a memory setting of, let's say, 2 GB and maybe uh, one or two cores. So I define the CPU and the memory configuration. I define which image to use. I would define the network configuration. I would define which operating system and the, that is part of the image, obviously. And then once the VM comes up and is provisioned on VirtualBox, I would also use Vagrant to trigger provisioning scripts. So it would be certain scripts which would go and configure, uh, let's say, Ansible itself and uh, then Docker and Docker Compose on top of this VM. Let's get started with that. Okay, so here we are with the demo setup. And this is part of the LFS162 organization on GitHub. So if you go to github.com slash LFS162, you should also find these demos which you want to try out. If Or if you want to try out, you have an access to these. So from here, I'm going to show you the Vagrant code. And this is the same code that I'm going to use for the demo. And what we want to see here is the Vagrant file. This is what allows us to write our VM or virtual machine configuration as code right here. Now, if you observe the code that you see here, it defines the configuration for a virtual machine whose name would be Ansible. And what kind of configuration? If you notice, there is a VM box that is a template. So the virtual machine image or the template to use the host name, the network configuration IP address, and let's say the memory and the CPU definition. So here I'm defining two GB of RAM and two cores of CPU dedicated for this VM. And then once the VM comes up, it would also go ahead and provision or run these scripts. I will just take you through the scripts as well. So it not, Vagrant not only allows you to provision a virtual machine, but also helps you to configure it. And this is just one kind of a provisioner, which is a shell script, but it could also be a, you know, a provisioner where you can integrate it with Ansible or Chef or Puppet or any other, almost any other configuration management system that Vagrant is compatible with. So this particular code is going to provision a VM using Ubuntu as an image and then install Ansible and Docker on top of that. So here is where I have Vagrant installed. So if I just run Vagrant, you can see all the you know options that it supports and the commands that it has. And I'm going to browse to the directory where I have this code available. It's the same code that I showed you earlier. We also have VirtualBox installed on the system because Vagrant is just a, a wrapper on top of a you know, hypervisor like VirtualBox. And when I run Vagrant up, it is going to read the same Vagrant file that I showed you earlier. And it is now importing that box. Box is nothing but an image. And once it has that image, it would start creating a VM. Where does it create a VM is with the virtual box. It would convert our script or the code into something that the virtual box understands. And here you see the VM is already running. It's almost booted. And if I click on show, it shows me the console output of that VM. It's on another screen. So I'm going to just drag and pull it here. And there you see the VM is already running and it is at the terminal. So the, here in the output, you would see everything related to the VM provisioning, including uh, setting up the host names, creating the VM itself, creating some sh you know shared folders, copying some files and the scripts. And it's actually running that script right now here. So it has already provisioned the VM and now it is or already created the VM and now it is running the provisioners. Provisioners are nothing but the configuration. So what configurations do you want to create or make on top of that VM once it is provisioned is what you can define as for in the form of scripts or in the form of some configuration management automation code as well. 
And here it is installing a bunch of packages related to Ansible. That's what you see here. And then once the Ansible is installed, it is going to run another script. So it has launched just one more script now, which is going to configure Docker, install and configure everything related to Docker and Docker Compose as utilities. And those are the utilities we would use in the next demo to run and provision certain or some containers. So I'm just gonna wait till this provisioning is done and show you how a VM looks like with Vagrant created with VirtualBox. There you go. So the VM has already been provisioned. And you see the output of the provisioning there. And here I see the VM already running. I could also connect to that VM using Vagrant SSH command. Before I do that, I would run Vagrant status to just verify that it's been running as well. And Vagrant reads this Vagrant file and it has created all the directories related to that. And when I run Vagrant SSH, it already logs into that VM. And one of the things that Vagrant does is also configures the passwordless SSH. So you don't have to worry about what username and which password and so on and so forth you can directly log in and as you notice it has already configured everything that i wanted on top of this vm including ansible and docker as well as docker compose so you could use vagrant to create not only one vm but also as many vms as you want and you can add that as part of the Vagrant file and it would read the Vagrant file and do everything that you want it to. And this is how Vagrant works. Now, once you're done with, you know, with your virtual machines, you can also destroy or delete that VM very quickly. So Vagrant is not only useful for provisioning and creating the VMs, but also you know, deleting those VMs very, very cleanly. And the good thing about that would be if, if even if you want it later, maybe after six months down the line, you still want to create the VM with the same configurations. It is possible to do that because everything here is just a code. So you can always go back to the same state that you created this with originally using the same code all the time and that is another advantage of writing your infrastructure as a code and you can store it on github or as a git, git repository and always go back to that status so this has been cleaned now and i just verified that with vagrant status so this was the demo of how vagrant works